Hey guys, welcome to Tomes. Hey, I uh, got a brand new Soul Finder coming out soon, so I'm looking forward to it and wanted to do a quick video on that subject. Now, uh, Douglas Ernst, uh, we've had a lot of interactions back and forth through the years. Uh, really appreciate the guy. And so I realize when it comes to dealing with things like Soul Finder, I am very biased. But if you go all the way back to my first video where I didn't even really know who Doug was, didn't didn't even know who was the, the author slash artist, etc., uh, you'll, you'll find that my opinion of Soul Finder has gone all the way back to before I knew these guys. So really quick, I just wanted to kind of explain uh, how, why do I support things like Soul Finder? What, what is it about this comic? Uh, it really comes down to a few things. First of all, uh, I have said repeatedly, I'm not a Catholic. Uh, in fact, I'm the only Baptist I know with a rosary. Uh, but I, I'm not a Catholic. I, I don't believe necessarily all the Catholic doctrine. Um, but I appreciate Soul Finder because it is what it is. And uh, and so again, uh, here's one of the, the newer uh, volumes that came out. Um, this is the uh, the last Infinite Ascent. Um, there's a few others that have come out. And uh, I, I appreciate it. It just is what it is, okay? They're not, he, <laughs> Doug's not trying to apologize. He's not trying to couch everything or hide, you know, it. you're, you're dealing with combat exorcists. What do you think you're gonna get? And, and I really appreciate that. Um, I, I liked the horror aspect of the first one. I, like I said, it, it was never tremendously scary or unnerving. Now I am looking forward to the new one with Eric Canetti doing the art, uh, because Eric Canetti has kind of this gritty art style, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. So this is this is kind of the Eric Canetti style, and I I think it's going to be a cool it'll be a cool mix. Um, and so again, I, I got into it because I was intrigued. Uh, I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the, the, the genuine spiritual combat and the genuine spiritual battle that you see. Uh, and so that's part of the reason why I support Soul Finder. Uh, I, I appreciate that it is what it is. Uh, but with the iconic guys and several other aspects here, you cannot look past the fact that when a creator treats the people who are reviewing their books well, uh, and engages with the criticism or engages with the the interaction that just that just does a world uh, I just I can't stress that enough so if you are a creator and someone interacts with your book and you repost it and you talk to them and inter, you know show them what's coming up next that does worlds for just brand loyalty and uh, so, I, I, again, there are all sorts of reasons. Uh, I enjoy the story. I enjoy the themes. Uh, I enjoy the fact that it is what it is. Uh, but also, I just, I, I enjoy the creators. Uh, I enjoy the creators of Soul Finder. Um, I've enjoyed my interactions with Doug Ernst through the years. That's where I look at it and I say, hey, why am I looking forward to the next Soul Finder? <laughs> How much time you've got. And uh, so, again, it's just my, my quick take on looking forward to the future. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, Tom.